What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to FS News. We finally have some news to go over today, guys. It's actually been a minute since we actually did a video like this, but we are back. Christmas is over, it's almost into the new year. Let's get to this news. But before we even do that, guys, make sure you guys put down in the comment section below hashtag FS News. Also, let me know what you guys did over this Christmas break or what you guys got for Christmas. Remember, if you guys do like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. Let's try to get to 300 likes on this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that sub button and ring that bell. And welcome to the club. Well, anyways, let's roll that intro. Let's get into this news. Here we go. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over is from Giants themselves. And that is, well, probably everybody's wondering, where are the mods? Where is the test and list? We have some answers about that. Giants staff are now on holiday. As of now, Giants are on holiday until January 2022. While most staff return on January 3rd, things aren't expected to pick up at least until January 10th, 2022. That's just weird actually seeing 2022. But anyways, I know what you're all about to ask, and no, don't expect mods until at least January 10th. Do not expect mods until the 10th at the earliest, too. So I am expecting basically as soon as they come back, everything's going to be started back up and probably mods are going to be coming out every day. At least I'm expecting that. Okay, but anyways, let's get to that next piece of news, and that is from Missy B. Modi. And she has given us a preview of what to expect in the next coming weeks into the new year. This is everything that she's bringing over from FS19 to FS22. She will also be having some new mods added to this list as when they will be ready and ready to be sent off for testing. So a lot of stuff from Missy B that will be coming in this next year. Okay, now the next news to talk about is from the SMI modding team and they are announcing their next conversion that will be making our way to our farms in FS22. And this is the MA slash AG Vortex VTXI 50T. That is a long name right there. But anyways, this is going to have quality with nice details and improved textures. So this is going to look really good on our farms right there. And then after that one, something from Agro Mods. I know everybody's been wanting a van. Well, guess what, guys? Here we go. Here is a van that's going to be coming over. This is their combi that will be available on FS22 with all platforms. Uh, with several new designs and gameplay improvements right there. It will soon be sent out for testing. And of course, this is destined for all platforms. And now let's talk about the Heston 4900 that is being converted over from 4D modding. It is right now in the progress of converting over. No release date or platform info at this time. This of course came out for FS19 on PC, never came out on console. I'm hoping this time it does come out on console. This is probably one of the best bailers in the game. And of course this also worked with the Stroll Harvest that was on FS19. I don't know if the Straw Harvest is going to be available on FS22. Let's keep our fingers crossed right there. But let's hope that this and Straw Harvest come out. Also, Glinger from Erie Agri has been helping him convert the XML. Some items to complete by making very good progress. It will also have new normal maps before release. Okay, now let's talk about five new mods that are waiting to be tested and released on the mod up. And this is from Custom Modding. They have actually been really busy before the Christmas break. But anyways, five mods they are waiting. Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series, the Demco 22 Series Green Cards, the Case IH Tiger Mate 255 Field Cultivator, the John Deere 2680H High Performance Disc, and the Landall 845 AG Halal Series. So a lot of good stuff waiting to be coming to Farming Simulator 22 as soon as Giants gets back into the office. Next, let's talk about Black Sheep Modding's map. They are more than 80% done with the Old Stream farm. The map is almost modeled. There is still some work to be done on it before first rendering for testing, but they are working hard away on it. So that I'm probably going to predict probably maybe February, March is probably the earliest it will probably be released. But that is something that I cannot wait for too. There is actually like four to five maps that I'm very, very excited about for Farming Simulator 22. And then another one of those maps that I was just talking about is Tom Pepperton's farm update. Here we go right here from MJ Modding. He had this to say though, Hey everyone, here's some pictures of the map progress so far and hope everyone had a good Christmas. Small update on Tom's map. He has a lot of work to do with the map till it's done. So his plan is to make the map shorter so it won't be a full map like all of his other maps. 
Here are some pictures right here of the farm shop all finished. Look at that detail right there. That looks amazing right there. I've not actually checked out this YouTuber or farmer. I don't know what exactly Tom Pepperton is. I probably need to check him out. And then now the last piece of news for today, we have to end on Auction David's map, which I'm pretty sure everybody can't wait for. So that makes three maps today I talked about that I am very, very excited about. Of course, this one right here is Calmsden, but this is exactly what he said. Working on seasons visual now, so expect to see barbecues, lawnmowers, ETC in the gardens in the summer, snowmen, icicles in the winter, and falling leaves from the trees in autumn, plus many others. Here are some pictures of Kalmsden with snow. Kalmsden also has parallax mapping upgrade on lots of the textures. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can't wait for this map right here. So that right there was all the news for today. Now, today's schedule after this video, no other video, but we do have some good news. Tomorrow, live streams start back up at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You guys are going to notice for the next like week or two, Videos are going to come out slowly, but there will still be live streams. And that is because, like we said in the video, that Giants is on vacation. I'm pretty sure when they get back, things are going to start ramping up, getting more mods, getting a testing list. Can't wait to see that testing list. Mods should be about over 1,000 mods waiting to be tested when we get that. I can't wait to actually see that. But anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do. And like always, have a nice day, farmers. Peace. Maybe half past two A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love